Welcome to Protector6.com. Today we are bringing you another goalkeeping glove comparison between the West Coast Spider Pro Limited Edition Pink Glove and the Lanzara Venosa. These gloves come with a very similar cut and feel, both featuring a removable finger protection system on a roll finger glove. But the latex on the on each glove is different. Here on the Lanzara Venosa, you had a super soft latex, but it was, had it's a titanium grip, which gave it more durability. For a super soft, you didn't have any problems with tearing, because super softs are more well known for tearing, but this one held up well. On the West Coast, we did have a contact latex, which is very well known, very durable, very tacky. You may notice some tearing on the West Coast a little more than the Lanzara Venosa. And that's because I used the West Coast glove throughout the month of October in practices and a couple games after I'd done the review because it was Breast Cancer Awareness Month and proceeds from this glove do go to breast cancer societies. Both gloves said performed well. They have a removable finger protection system. Each has its own way. You have a little velcro pouch here. West Coast you have a zipper. The Lizera, you have a little bit of velcro on the inside and on the finger save to hold it in place so you don't get any movement of the finger save at all throughout the when you're using the glove, you don't get them sliding down or getting out of position. They're always in the right spot. The West Coast has probably my favorite type of finger save, the square segmented finger save. I find this to be the most flexible and the most rigid, locking at 180 degrees, giving the most flexibility. Ones like the Lanzara Venosa one, I can find to be a little bit more restrictive. Lanzara did a very good job with their finger saves, though. They're very, they're very flexible, locking a little past 180, giving a good range of movement. Overall, they both have very good finger saves, and you can't knock a glove, either glove, on their finger protection. You do have a latex strap on both gloves. This one is much narrower. On the Lindsay Venosa, it's much narrower than the Spiders. Well, it's not too much, but compared to the glove itself, it feels near, it doesn't feel as secure as say the, the spiders did. They did a better job in their latex strap. It feels more wide and encompassing than the Lanzaras did. When on, the Lanzara gives nice flexibility. And overall, very tacky. Not right now, I need to wash them. I need to wash both gloves actually to get the grip back little bit of tack to it. The finger saves are very flexible. The thumb, very flexible. There's a difference between the thumb on the Lanzara and the thumb on the West Coast. You see the Lanzara has a wide roll finger with a wrap, whereas West Coast, they have a negative cut thumb. It gives a bit more tighter fit. Uh, on the thumb gives a little more security on that. Both thumbs feel very good though. One sec guys. <coughs> like so like I said both gloves fit good. Both have a roll finger cut. As far as the West Coast does have it with the finger protection and does fit a little tighter, more snug to the fingers than the Lanzara. You don't have as much gathering on the West Coast. It's much more tailored fit, whereas the Lanzara, you see you got a lot of gathering here on the side and on the palms. Gives a bit more, you have more latex there, you have more gloves to fit into, but gathering can sometimes be a little uncomfortable and a little awkward. Where West Coast, you don't really have any gathering, really, just a little bit there, which is usually is pretty uh, pretty common in most gloves. Where you see the palm bulging here on the Lanzara. As far as flexibility in the West Coast, the finger saves again very good. Flexibility, don't have any problems. 
I'd say that maybe a little stiffer than the ones there. They're pretty much the same. You don't any problems with that. You, just, you can remove the finger protection on both. I do like finger protection depending on the glove. I'm, I like finger protection and like the stability it provides, but I'm very picky about it. If it feels too restrictive, I'll just take it out and not use it and use it just as a normal glove without finger protection. Both of these, I felt comfortable with the finger protection in. I didn't remove it and I just but the finger protection systems in both these each glove was very good. Going to the grip, the grip on the West Coast is much better than the Lanzara. they has got super soft. I had a great grip for super soft. It's very tacky. Did was able to hold onto the ball, no problem. The West Coast does have well, it's probably the tackiest latex on the market. The contact latex. Um, it doesn't feel very tacky right now, but you can see the palm is very dirty. It needs to be washed to get that dirt off. That's one thing with the contact latex, you gotta wash it a lot. But other than that, it's. I mean, I never had any problems catching or holding a ball. It was always there. Dampen the glove a little bit, just spit on it. Throughout the game, you get very tacky gloves. And the Lanzero was the same way. You put a little water on it, it was very tacky, but the West Coast did outperform in the grip section. Durability wise, um, after testing, say the Lanzara, you know, they're about the same after testing. I didn't really have any issues with durability. I have used the Lanzara since then and the West Coast. You can see the West Coast, there's a lot more on it, but I've probably used the Lanzara enough to tell. I mean, I've used the West Coast probably close to two times as much as the Lanzara, and there's not that much difference in durability. So the Lanzara is definitely a little less durable, but it'll get you through a season or two, depending on how much you use it, what you're using it in, no problem. Now Lanzara, you know, the Venosa is hard to find now. They do have a new launch. I can't recall the name of it right now. It's all black. It's still got the titanium super soft grip latex. It's this the same glove, just a change in colorway. So, as far as which glove I would pick, um, I have to use one glove in the game. I would pick the West Coast Spider Pro Pink because it is a little more tailored, and the grip the grip is good. I don't have to worry about that. It's a little more tailored fit. It's a little more comfortable. The finger stays perform well, um, and the grip is, is a bit better. Um, that's really the reason that's pushing the West Coast above Lanzara is the grip and the price. These Lanzara gloves, I got them on sale for like $64, whereas the West Coast Spider Pinks right now on the West Coast website, I'm looking down at it, they're on sale for $49. So the West Coast Spider Pink is definitely value wise a better glove grip wise a better glove and everything else they match up to be pretty much identical but if you're wondering which one you should get I would say go for the west coast um, even if you don't want to use the finger saves they feel pretty much exactly the same sorry about that my dog just had a nightmare <laughs> sleeping over there and all of a sudden woke up um, the Lanzara and the West Coast, without the finger protection, they pretty much match in support. Um, there, there's no difference. The roll finger feels very good in both without finger protection. You don't have any worries there. But as I said, you have to choose between one of these. West Coast is the way to go. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Any comparisons you want to see, videos you want me to work on. Like I said, I'm going to start doing training videos as well for, for the YouTube channel, so comment those down. Any training ideas you want done down below. Comparisons, gloves you want to see reviewed. And I'll see you guys next time.